Hello, everybody. Another segment. Staying with the Fords. Anyway, there has been a lot of discussion about block cracking on a small block Fords. And uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, 650 horse, they've made it. And finally, block broke. And the others say, uh, oh, they've gone uh, very fast with a stock block. And the dog guy, they survive. You know, every, racing is strange. There are people out there that uh, can prove you wrong when you say with uh, certainty, oh, this can't be done. Well, somebody's going to prove you wrong. Anyway, that being said, we know for a fact that uh, many, many times uh, a lot of guys will say, oh, my HL block split right in the middle. And uh, that was the end of that guy. And I switched to LS. <laughs> but anyway, joke. It does happen. All right? But uh, even the LS break. Okay? So sometimes more about the operator, owner, builder rather than the, the make. Now, I'm here to talk to you about um, what I believe. Okay? And I want your input. Uh, what makes this blocks fair and there are two things the design one and two is a firing order now we know for a fact that uh, Ford has two firing orders and not that long ago I had a, an engine for somebody that ran mid 9 to low 9 9.30 between 9.30 best to an average of 9.50 with his 351 Windsor block right here similar to this two bolt main and it was a, uh, a 421 and uh, no no excuse me it's a 415 416 and it ran consistent ran every weekend non-stop every Saturday or every you know they have a Wednesday night race it's out there running unbelievable running midnight no failures whatsoever then one day uh, somebody had uh, the great idea to uh, give him advice and, and said, well, I would like to fix Ben. I'll you know, screw up and I'll give you a better camshaft than that what he had in it. Uh, okay. That's just right. So this guy believed it. He put his magic cam in my trusty old reliable 351 and uh, in due time I think four or five runs, the block crack in half. And he's wondering, what in the world happened? Well, let me tell you uh, what I believe happened. The Fords have two fire order, the old school 1.5 and the 1.3, 31 HO302 fire order. The 1.5 Hits one fires, five shortly thereafter uh, fires up right next sequence. The issue there is this galley way right here. Okay? Right there. With a one five fire order, the main number one cap takes up beating one after the other. And here, I will show you guys what happens. With a 1-5 firing sequence, the main cap is loaded big time, as opposed to a 1-3. You spread it further out before you hit in sequence, right? With a 1-5 firing order, this all galley right here is the problem. When you look at that, the main studs here, the half inch main studs is about roughly about an inch from this big drill passage and when it gets slammed by a 1-5 firing order it knocks this thing starts to crack across there's not much support and goes up here 
right there and all through the back. And then they said, it's split right in the middle. Actually, I believe it's split right here. Okay? Because the ones I saw split right in the middle, they zero in on that. And guess what? It's also cracked right here. They forgot to look at it here. Now, the 302, which is the worst of the block series, looks like it is good here. Here is hollow. Okay, you can see that. And when you look underneath, it's even thin. Very thin right here. Here, it looks like they filled it up on the HO. So you have a lot of support, right? It looks real, but truth of the matter is, if you reach with your finger right back here, it's just as thin or even worse than a 351. Okay? Right there, here it's, it's like a Hollywood uh, uh, set. It's just good in the front, there's nothing on the back. It's very thin. So the issue is the same thing. The distance between these two is the same. Okay, that's why you can use the same timing chain, there's no difference. Almost everything here is there, but it's very thin right there. And there's a lighter casting. And then when they finally give up, well, again, this this main cap, even though it's 716, is a little farther down than the 351. 351 went in deeper because it's got a bigger main cap width. But the problem is it's also thin, actually very thin. Okay, and now when it splits right there from the impact of a 1-5 firing sequence. It goes up, and this design doesn't help it. It's little holes. Okay? They project the rest from there, and then they go to the next one, next one, next one, and all the way to the back. The issue that you're looking at, and I had a, a road racing 351 that I did for a, an SCCA type car. And one, two, three, four, crack. Okay? The main caps gave up and split the block. But the only one that stayed is number five main cap. There is a number five main cap stayed because the doggone T5 uh, input shaft held the, held the crank. And then the, the back end, the bulkhead, the old casting on the back is a lot sturdier, so it's able to retain that and uh, there were no issue after that. Now when you look at the Thrift One SVO Dart, they also have that oil galley there, but guess what they did? They shored this with a lot of casting, thick! I would say about, oh my god, inch and a half, two inches? Okay, so with here, you can have your your crazy firing order, and it probably won't even matter, okay? Uh, because it's just so stuck, and it's not gonna gonna give up easily. So, um, if the aftermarket didn't think about this, you'd still have the same problem. But I think they're sharp enough. Dar, everybody else, you know, SVO, they all look at this thing and say, okay. There's been a cracking, cracking, we'll show this up. This got about <laughs> three or four times the width of right there. And here it holds you. Okay, so uh, uh, there we are, and uh, I hope uh, it's clear. Uh, let's look at this block splitting contest and perhaps. Um, Identify that not only may be it may be the uh, one five firing order, but surely doesn't help if you go uh, with that firing order instead of one three. But perhaps just the the main caps are just weak, all right, and uh, it's eventually gonna you know, fail on you, uh, regardless if you got the firing order or not. But I think that's one of the reasons that this. Uh, 
has been an ongoing problem with the force. So first off is uh, check your firing order. Uh, I should say demand that you have the, the one three sequence instead of the one five just to to help especially the three or two help the situation at hand and uh, make that a uh, priority. Okay? And um, hopefully that uh, fixes uh, your problem or uh, give you a little longer uh, fun of the track, whatever it might be, road racing, uh, drag racing, whatever. Uh, if you can enjoy the fun a little bit longer by having the right selection of parts, um, maybe we can uh, save a little bit of money and continue racing without uh, uh, complaining about uh, defective or weak this or weak that. Okay? So uh, please subscribe to Ben Almeida on YouTube and we'll keep going with uh, a lot of, uh, should we say, uh, budget build or, you know, common sense uh, explanation. We're not going to get too fancy with the math and give you all these mumbo jumbo explanation. I just don't write paths so the regular uh, German can follow on and, uh, and uh, understand it. We'll keep it simple. So uh, subscribe to Ben Almeida and uh, we'll keep doing more of these. Thank you very much. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.